So um, yes, there's a, I think we've been seeing a recent rise in the incidence of heart disease. And not only a rise in incidence, but also uh, the problem occurring in younger and younger patients. Now, I think the main reason for this uh, increase is the, uh, you know, the lifestyle that we lead nowadays. As the country gets you know, socio-economically richer, we see you know, the intake of food being you know, shifting to the uh, so-called uh, more rich and Western kind of diet, where it's high in saturated fat, uh, high in refined sugars, and low in uh, you know, fiber, fruits and vegetables. And I think it's a, a major cause for uh, increasing heart disease that we see. Of course, with a very uh, stressful lifestyle, um, we have less time to exercise. And I think the stress itself, together with lack of exercise, also contributes uh, a fair bit to a rising incidence of heart disease. And also, at the same time, we see a rising incidence of diabetes uh, in, in our population. Uh, high blood pressure is common, and also uh, rising uh, high cholesterol uh, rates. And again, all these uh, adds to the problem of uh, rising heart disease in our population. And not to forget, you know, the young, especially the young people, a lot of them uh, take up smoking at a very young age. And this, again, uh, leads to uh, a rise in heart disease, especially in the young patients. In fact, most of the young patients that we see with heart attacks, uh, invariably, they are all smokers uh, to begin with. So, um, how do we treat some of these uh, patients with uh, heart artery blockages? I think, um, first of all, we cannot run away from lifestyle change. So, no matter what you do, I think that forms the basis of our treatment. And that means that you know, your diet has to be uh, a better diet, low in saturated fat, low in salt and refined sugars, and high in uh, fiber, especially fruits and vegetables. And uh, of course, stopping smoking if you're a smoker, and getting enough exercise. And exercise doesn't mean that you really need to uh, you know, do uh, you know, long distance running or something. Even brisk walking, I think, will be a good exercise for most people to start with. And Apart from that, then we have to come to medications to try to control or treat people with uh, heart artery blockages. And um, I think a couple of medications are very important that you know, we would use for almost every single patient. I think, I think the first group will be a drug that thins the blood, like aspirin, mm -hmm. which makes, basically makes the blood less sticky. And this kind of a drug has been shown to reduce the risk of future heart events or heart attacks in patients with pre-existing heart artery uh, narrowing. The other drug that's been shown to be very useful will be a drug uh, where we lower cholesterol, a group of drugs called statins. And this drug not only lower, lowers cholesterol, it also kind of stabilizes the uh, cholesterol deposits in the artery and therefore also reduce the incidence of uh, heart attacks in future. Um, other drugs that may be required would be drugs that would relieve uh, the patient's symptoms if they have any, for example, chest pain or shortness of breath, although these do not uh, change the outcome uh, in terms of mortality or, or heart events uh, in the long term. So for some of these patients, despite best medical therapy as we call it, they will still have symptoms and that's where uh, people like myself come in, interventional cardiologists, where we can uh, balloon or perform uh, angioplasty of the artery where we balloon and subsequently put a stent in the artery to relieve symptoms and also so that the patient can uh, have a better effort tolerance and perhaps exercise more and reduce some of the drugs that he or she is, has to take for these heart artery narrowings. Of course, in a small proportion of patients, there, it is not possible for us to open every single artery. And if there are multiple blockages in all three heart arteries, then perhaps for some of these patients, a heart bypass operation uh, may be the solution for them.